Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So today we're going to talk about the Samsung soundbar Q900D. And what it's been like now that I've used this thing for a whole month. Because I think that usually takes a good month of using a product to be able to give it a really good in-depth full review. And so now that I have owned this thing for a month, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it. Now the way I'm going to structure this video is I'm going to give you guys a full review and then at the end I will really give you my one month review thoughts on this. All right, so let's talk about the uh, cosmetics on it first to get started off. So on the top and the side here, or on the front and the top here, it's got a metal grill that kind of gives you a little bit of that industrial feel. And it is a pretty solid soundbar. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, I did not mount it onto the wall. I just kind of put it right here. Uh, well, basically, because I can't mount it onto the wall. I'm on a corner uh, section here in this room, so there was no way to meet for me to mount it. But I think it looks pretty good like this, just on the stand right below TV. And the way that Samsung designed this is to pair up with their television. So as you can see, it does not go up above the screen any. So that's kind of nice to give it that nice clean look. And it's got the branding on the top here that says Samsung, but it's black, metal, real sleek looking. Now in the top corner over here, there's the indicator light. It's only on this side of the sound bar all the way to your right. And then also on this indicator light, it lets you know what input you are running. So since I am running a, an optical cable to it, it says direct in. If I was running Bluetooth, it would say BT. Um, and if you're running like through an HDMI cable, it would say that also. Now the remotes on these things, they are really thin like that. So uh, that makes it kind of easy to get lost in a couch or a chair. But um, they're really similar to the uh, QLED TV remote. So let's take a good look at here. So this one here is the QLED remote. This one here is a soundbar remote. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two. Uh, they're both real thin. They're angled like that. But whenever you do hook in this soundbar, and if you are hooking it in to a Samsung TV, then you don't need the soundbar remote. You can control everything with a TV remote. Now on the remote control for the soundbar, you can turn up the subwoofer sound and the regular sound volume. So it does give you two different options on there. Now the different sound types that this thing has, the different sound modes are standard, surround, game pro, and adaptive. Now the differences with these models is that surround gives you that all around widest sound stage, particularly in like a, a bigger section. So it gives you that nice all around sound. The Game Pro knows when you are gaming and it will adjust accordingly. So like maybe if you're playing some Call of Duty or something like that and there's loud guns, it will adjust the volume on the gun levels. So it's got that smart technology built inside of it that automatically detects that. And then last is the adaptive and that will adjust on the fly based on the content that you're watching. So for example, if you're watching something that's real heavy in dialogue, it will adjust the voice accordingly to the show or the movie that you're watching or maybe like the explosions. So it has that adaptive capability in there to control those different sound levels. Really cool technology. Now on the side of the sound bar over here on this side here, it does have a volume control button, a plus, a minus. It's got a button on there to push it for Bluetooth pairing. And what you would do with that when you push the Bluetooth pairing, you gotta push it, it'll come up there, Bluetooth. Then you gotta hold the Bluetooth button for about five seconds and then that sets it into pairing mode to pair it with whatever device it sure want to uh, Bluetooth with it. Uh, so it is a little bit of a learning curve on that, but and it's really clean with not having a whole lot of buttons on the side there. And then of course there's the power button on the side as well. But when it comes to the Bluetooth, you might have to have a little bit of patience, five seconds. Okay, so now let me give you a little bit of a sound test with this uh, to show you guys what it sounds like and then I'll dive into more of the specifics with it. Center. And let's go ahead and play it. Now what I'll do is I'll take the microphone and I'll stand back uh, as far as where I would be sitting for uh, movie watching and to kind of give you guys what that uh, sound would be like if you were sitting in that type of a distance watching a movie. So let's do that test now. 
Okay, so that gives you a little bit of an uh, example of what this thing sounds like. It's a great sounding sound bar. So there are speakers on the top and then there are speakers here in the front that are booming out and then you got the sound bar that I have sitting on the floor there. You do get a dedicated uh, center channel which does a fantastic job of handling the vocals when it comes to any kind of movies or anything like that. My wife and I were watching uh, a television show the other day and I was really surprised at how well the, it balanced the vocals with some of the like explosions or anything that were in the background. So that dedicated center channel does a fantastic job with that. Now with the rest of the speakers that go around the dedicated center channel, they do a fantastic job of filling in all those mids and giving you an example of what is all around there. So giving you that surround sound feel making this sound bar sound bigger than what it really is. Gives you that crisp sound, that big bass booming sound, and then it fills the room in really nicely. Now on the top of this sound bar, along the top right here, it's got that acoustic beam technology. Now what that is, is say there's like a, for example, there's a car, you're watching Fast or Furious or something like that, and there's something on the screen that moves here and just kind of moves along with the screen. The beam technology will give you that sound that kind of goes right along with it, just like that, moving with the action that's on the screen. Some really cool technology. Now, I can't really show you on video, obviously, because, it, well, it's video, but you're going to have to take my word for it. That is a really nice little feature on this sound bar here. Now, on the back of this sound bar, you do get some good connections, different types of connections to kind of go with whatever TV that you have. You get two HDMI imports. One of them is that ARC HDMI input. You get the regular uh, 35 or 3.5 millimeter, uh, the old fashioned stereo jack, you get that. And then you get the optical audio cable, which that's what I'm using here. And then if you wanted to, you could even Bluetooth it with the TV. But if you have this, I recommend that you go wired in. You're gonna get the best connectivity that way and you're probably your best sound. So. I have it with the optical cable, but it does have that HDMI hookup also. Whatever type of TV that you're running to with this, it'll work. Now, the other great thing about this is it's not specific to the QLED. All right, if you had another Samsung TV, you could do that also. Or if you had another brand TV, Vizio, LG, or something like that, you could still use the sound bar with those models of televisions. But if you do purchase a QLED TV like I got here, I recommend that you complement it with one of these awesome sound bars. Just makes it a really cool movie experience, especially if you're spending that kind of money. Go ahead and just spend a few extra hundred dollars and get this sound bar, and then you'll never have to go to the movie theater. You can just kind of stay home and watch your movies that way. But having those different hookups on the back of this thing make it very versatile to what you can hook this sound bar up. Okay, so now what's it been like owning this sound bar for one whole month? It has been a great sound bar. I can tell the big difference between using the TV sound and this sound here. Um, just the other day, we were watching a, a TV program, and um, one of the issues that I do have is that sometimes the sound bar will disconnect. Now, it's probably every uh, six, seven days, it'll disconnect from the TV, but all you have to do to fix that, to reconnect them, is you go right over, you hit the power button on a sound bar, and it automatically detects that the sound bar is on and then it connects back to, together. So that's about the only issue I really had with this sound bar. Other than that, it has been fantastic. It has worked fine. Um, but I could tell a huge difference whenever I was listening for a few minutes on the TV. Um, and then as soon as I turned on the sound bar, the voices that were coming out from the middle range here, um, you could hear the dialogue from the movie really clearly. Uh, compared to just listening to it from the TV. Um, the sound, as far as the bass goes for, on this thing, it, it like almost rumbles the floor a little bit because the subwoofer is down here on the floor, and then there are some bass speakers built into this thing. And so whenever we are watching any of those action type of movies and there's explosions or guns going off, um, you really can feel it. So this has been a really good purchase for me. I know sound bars are usually a splurge. I mean, you can watch TV and get all the sound from the TV, but make your movie watching experience a little bit better. Buying one of these is worth the money. So after owning this thing a month, would I buy it again? Absolutely. I surely would um, because it has done a very good job at making our or enhancing our movie watching experience, our TV shows. And I've even had some guests come over where they've been watching TV 
and they can tell a difference of the quality on the speakers and the sound that comes out of these things. So one month later, Samsung Harman Kardon speaker here that has been do doing a really good job. So I definitely recommend it. Well, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, click a thumbs up on this. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I would love to have you back in the next one.